Hey, I'm Dan, and this is Dan's Planes. First things first, I've removed all the broken stuff back to any uh, ribs, made everything flush, clean. Also removed about a half inch uh, covering because I'm going to be gluing, and then after I glue, I'm going to have to sand. So don't want to be tearing up the covering. Uh, I, I don't know if I have any spare star and bars. I think I do. Have to have to see. Uh, but if not, it'll be war damage. <laughs> so I found that besides this having um, thin cracks. This support here is also loose. So, got to get that glue. This rib is cracked. This rib is cracked. This rib is cracked. And of course, we've got the main spar crack. I knew the spar was cracked. Then I've got these um, fine fine cracks in here. So, I'm going to do high saw along here, the main crack, and then I'm going to use thin CA. Um for these other cracks and um, thin or medium CA for this and I'm gonna have to clamp this down then I'm gonna have to make um, one two three full ribs and then I need at least the top of top and bottom of ribs um, as a double for here and for here, so I'm able to run sheeting to it and have something for the sheeting to adhere to. So I've actually got some broken ribs. I haven't seen if if they're a match on anything yet, but um, I mean they kind of line up here. But I need the full rib, so they're not going to work. Okay, then. Uh, I've got this piece here, which is going to go here. Where's that go on here? Goes on here, like that, like there. Um, this hardwood piece is all kinds of broken, so I'm going to have to try to Dremel it out. Um, it's going to be little bit of little bit of work to get that out then um, this is broken and loose here I need to get it pushed diagonally here so that these these pieces here get pushed down about a quarter of an inch um, to match with the three sheets of plywood here but I can't for the life of me get that in there. That's um, That took some force to break that out. And <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not able to get in there, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Then um, <clears throat> I've got this top part here, which is going to go to the left side here. That I've got a come up with a way of gluing that and that hardwood was thin already Oops. okay this hardwood was thin already because it had to be cut out for the Sierra retracts to fit <clears throat> into that hole this hole here so this is going to take some finagling and I got to get it right because I don't want to do it like my second repair on my first wing where I ended up having this mounted and it ended up being pushed in this way and then it was jacked up this way. So I don't want a repeat of that. And I've got to do a um, leading edge cross here and it um, kind of split here so uh, this kind of works because I'm going to be able to splice in a piece to here. So it'll, that'll have a good contact there. So one step at a time. First, I'm going to take care of this piece here. And 
then probably probably do the ribs next and then the leading edge so I'm going to I'm going to clamp this fix this first get the main structure right then I think I'm going to do the ribs next I'm I don't have any plans for it so I've just got to trace a rib um, trace ribs and try to come up with um, sizes that are getting smaller each time and then I can do any touch up with sanding and then do the leading edge which if I my ribs are too long I can true them up when I do that um, oh so I'm doing this and then I'm doing this and re-gluing here and gluing these stress cracks then I'll do the ribs forgot about that all right, one step at a time. Here we are after the main spar is re-glued and good as new. And also uh, glued this support here and thin CA'd this and then glued it back to the support there. So now I can remove these guys and I had glued the ribs, but I don't think I got all of them right. I just got to get this one. Um, got to get on the underside of this webbing. And then we're on to first creating the ribs to, uh, to go on either side of this in order for the sheeting to go on, and then making the three ribs for the center. I'm going to um, use a piece of cardboard and hold it up against here and then trace the outside edges. Then I'll go around it on the inside about an eighth of an inch um, all the way around doing my best freehand that I can. Then cut it out and use that as a trace for um, that rib and do the same thing for this rib. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dan from Dan's Planes. I just want to share some content about RC planes, something I've been passionate about since childhood. I'm hoping I can teach something to someone, I can start some discussion and learn some things from others. So let's just have some fun and learn some things together. If you enjoyed what you watched, it would really help me out if you could like, subscribe, and share. And if you feel that it helped you out in some way, or it might help future viewers, I'd really appreciate it if you'd visit my Patreon page and become a patron. It's like throwing a dollar tip into a guitar case when you pass by. It helps to, to fund future content and future projects that I'll be working on. I plan to show some past content. I have some other flights and I have some fly-in events that I've been to. And I also plan to show future flights and future repairs, as well as building ARFs and, if I can ever get back to it, building my top flight uh, Spitfire. So there's a lot of content to come, but it's, it's viewers like you that are able to support what I'm doing. And by doing that, I'm able to spend more time creating that content in the future. So I'd really appreciate it. But either way, thanks for watching and thanks for any support. And I wish you blue skies and good speed.